City of mine How I love, how I love The city of mine Hello, good morning Oh, it is a chilly morning Welcome to the vlog Starting off this vlog In my Jeep I feel like I've done like done this like the last few vlogs uh, But anyways I'm gonna go drop off some Elgith label orders, Poshmark orders, and then I have a return at Forever 21, and then I also have a return that I need to take to Aloe. So I'm gonna go return that stuff, and then I also, I think I might trade in my Apple Watch and get a new one today, because I did this two years ago, so every month during, or every year, during the month of February. Apple does like a better trade-in deal on your Apple Watches. Um, it's like uh, Heart Health Month. I forget exactly what it's called. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure. But they do this every February. And a few years ago, I took in my Series 3 and traded it in for the Series 5 during that time and I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, and so now I have my Series 5 and I think I'm gonna go ahead and trade it in for the Series 7 that they just came out with. Um, and upgrade my watch and then I probably won't get another new one for like another few years but there is some really cool updates and features that I'm very interested in so if I do get the watch like if they have the one that I want in stock and everything um, then I will definitely do a little unboxing for you guys share with you guys a little what's on my I almost said iPhone I'm doing one of those as well what's on my Apple watch but let's go run these errands first and then depending on what mall I end up at We'll see if they have it in stock. <laughs> Okay, packages have been dropped off. I am honestly debating um, so there's like two different malls that I can go to and I think I might just go to the closer one and take back the aloe stuff because they only have an aloe store at Fashion Island and then they only have a Forever 21 at South Coast so those are like two completely different directions and I don't know if I want to drive all the way over to South Coast today so I think I might just take back Alice stuff and then take back the Forever 21 stuff another day. I also have an Amazon return in here. Um, I should probably do that, drop that at the UPS store, maybe on my way home or something, but um, okay, I'm just gonna go to the Apple store and then, or the Aloe store and then the Apple store that's also in Fashion Island and then just do everything in one place so I don't have to drive a bunch of different directions today. <laughs> Also, if I do end up trading it in, this is what I have currently. Um, I have the Space Gray Series 5. Um, I will show you guys how I like customized that um, later if I do get a watch. Um, and then this band is from Amazon. It's so, so old. It is literally falling apart right there. Um, but yeah, that's my current little setup. <laughs> That went way faster than, <laughs> you know, I thought it would, which was actually nice. Um, but, returned my aloe stuff, that was like $170, like, honestly, aloe stuff adds up really, really quick. Um, but I just, like, didn't love the fit of everything, and then I ended up returning the black and white hat that I got. If you guys watched my other vlog, you would have seen that, because I was like, I already have the white on white, and now I have the black on black. But I was like, I don't need like a third variation of it. So I just ended up returning that. So that was like $170 that I got back. And then when I went to do the trade-in for my Apple Watch, I got $170 for my Series 5. And then I also had two gift cards. So that was another $50 like for the Apple Store. So in the end, it was only $200 for my new Apple Watch. And I think I got my Series 5 for around like $130 to $200 dollars two years ago so I feel like February is like the best time to bring your watch in 
for the trade-in because I still have like the newest Apple Watch now and I'll probably wait till like they come out with like a Series 9 or something and see what differences there are but I am excited to test this out and see a few of the differences um, so let's see oh I need to get gas I need to do that on my way home but it's so pretty I got the Series 7 Starlight Aluminum Case with the Starlight Sport Band, 41 millimeter watch. Yay, she's so pretty, can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna get gas. I think I might text Haley and see if she wants some food. Otherwise, if she's already gotten food, I might just like make something at home. Um, and I'm gonna do that UPS return on the way home and then we'll sit and do the unboxing for you guys and like get it all set up. Okay, stopped and got kava for lunch. Picked up um, Haley's order as well. We'll always just do like order online and then like go pick it up. But I went to place my order after I got gas and I think we have ordered so much. Like obviously I have an account for kava with how often we order. And it had, for some reason there was like an $8 credit on my account and I was like, oh cool. So in the end I only ended up paying $3 for my lunch today. It's just a good day all around. Like I, I love this. I love this energy that we have today. 2-2, 2-22-22. That's what today is. It's just a good, it's a good day. You should also be manifesting today because I've heard that there's like a huge portal today. Um, great for manifestations and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna end up doing that later. Maybe I'll film like a little night routine later and we'll do some manifestations together. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go home. I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we will unbox and set up this Apple Watch. I think I'm working out later today, so it'll be cool to test it out and see the features. And then I also have seen this hack so many times on TikTok that apparently you can use your Apple Watch as like a viewfinder for your camera on your phone. It'll like open and show you exactly what your phone sees in the camera. And I don't know why Haley and I haven't done this because the amount of times that like we're always having to like ask each other to like film, which is like obviously so easy so much easier when you have someone else there to do it but if you're filming by yourself and you have like a tripod and you want to use the back camera because obviously it's better quality that's so nice to be able to see and also for like vlogs and stuff if you're gonna be vlogging on your phone and you want to use the back camera to have like that feature on the cam on the apple watch so cool okay we're gonna test that out later but food comes first <laughs> let's unbox this thing get it set up and then i think i might like google while we're waiting <laughs> bentley has to have his moment as well um i think i might google while we're like waiting for it to probably turn on and um sync to like my account and everything um like the main differences the sun is like the glare is a little bit much <laughs> maybe right here would be a little bit better Yay, okay, let's unbox this. I haven't unboxed a new Apple Watch in so dang long. Okay, so you have the watch itself and then this is the watch band that I got. Let me fix this again because I think the lighting is just gonna end up washing this out. Well, I guess I can use the table now. <laughs> okay. I've only ever had the like space gray and I think I had like the ceramic black for the series three that was like the first ever Apple watch that I had ever gotten so here we are in the series seven <sighs> hi I can't play right now <laughs> we're gonna unbox this for the vlog fam um, would you mind so kindly backing up out of the shop please <laughs> please and thank you love you okay right there there you go ah, okay lay down 
You're just a little too tall. Can you lay down? Lay down. Thank you. Good boy. Okay. Let's see. I'm so excited. Uh, like I was saying, only ever had the space gray and the ceramic black. So this is their starlight color, which seemed as close to the gold color as I was going to get, quite honestly. Um, it almost looks like a mix between like the silver and the gold color. <laughs> Bentley's like, is this for me? No, I can promise you it is not. It's like really stuck in here. She's pretty. Okay, so. <laughs> Here, go get your toy. Go get your toy over there. This is what it looks like. She wants to focus on this and not me for a second. That'd be cool. So this is like the coloring. I got the smaller 41 millimeter. Okay, I'm gonna like set it up real quick. Okay, now he's fine. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have no idea how long this little setup is going to take. But I'm excited to test it out later for a workout. I think you can like track your sleep and stuff on here too. I, I don't know. I haven't paid attention to a lot of the upgrades on the Apple Watch lately. So I'm kind of excited to see. Um, let's see. Restore from backup. Today, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll see. The only other backup that I had was from my old Apple Watch, my Series 3 from 2020. That's the other option for the backup. So, all right, we're gonna just let that do its thing. Uh, let me put the other band on, I guess, and see. Comes with the charger, no little wall outlet. Um, what am I saying? I don't know. I was gonna make myself another cup of coffee. Okay, please continue set up on iPhone. Perf. It's taking its time. We're getting there. All right, and then this is the Starlight Sport Band. I feel like I don't really wear the sport bands with my Apple Watch too often. Um, I pretty much only wear the gold one that you guys have seen me wear for the last... I don't know two years basically that i've had the other one um so i feel like these ones are like nice for working out but i like the metal bands because um you can like tighten them even more so it's not like falling up and down your wrist let's see passcode oh okay I'm create a passcode on here oh wow the screen is so much bigger I think that was like another new feature um, was that it's like full screen. Hi. <laughs> it's like the beeping on here. <laughs> Hi bud. Okay. <laughs> He's so confused. Alright, passcode is set up. Ah, ah, ah. Don't get drool all over the new Apple Watch. Um, you can use your the blood oxygen app to check your blood oxygen levels. That's kind of cool. Okay. Keep your Apple Watch up to date. Sure. Let's do that. I think I needed to update my old one and I had not done that yet. So. Okay. Back to the band. Okay. So my nice little like beige color. You guys know I like my neutrals. So it's pretty nice. All right. I'm excited to see how this looks because I'm so used to always having like the like two different tones like the uh the black and the gold on my wrist for my apple watch okay set up apple pay i think that's how i want it <laughs> excuse me excuse me all right card has been added i'm gonna put this on she looks cute we like her okay oh hello <laughs> hi bentley you're just fully in the frame right now okay adding my cards on here all right always on display that was the one feature that i loved about the series 5 when they like finally updated that and now you have like you're always on display um let's see 
I like the list view personally versus like the grid view. And now Apple Watch is syncing. Okay, get to know your watch. Cool. Let's see what's new in watch OS. Yeah, because I haven't seen much about this honestly i just decided to go for it but i did a little bit of research the other night okay cute look at that i like it i want to see what it looks like with my actual gold band though i gotta re-download the tips app and <laughs> see what's new in here okay what's new in watch os express yourself in messages compose a message using dictation scribble and emoji oh that's kind of cool you can like fully like Type stuff out now interesting you got find your devices what is this check your respiratory rate apple watch can track the number of times you breathe per minute as you sleep that's a new one your blood oxygen that one i also didn't have on my last watch can set multiple timers i guess that's kind of handy because i'm always using my um iphone for like timers and stuff apple watch can detect when you're washing your hands and start a 20 second timer blood oxygen on here again you can check your heart rate compete with friends with for like fitness and stuff i haven't done that in so long i used to do that all the time um back when i got my very first apple watch i was like friends with multiple people at the company that i worked at and we would all like share our um apple watches and like compete with each other throughout the week so that's kind of cool and then the fitness that's basically like the main thing that i use my apple watch for is to track all of my workout but i'm excited to mess with it later and see if we can like actually use it for the like camera hack that i saw because that would be really cool to have okay so this is the sport band that it comes with the matching starlight color and then this is the band that i got on amazon years ago you can clearly tell it's not looking it's best on the inside but on the outside it still looks pretty nice it's held up pretty well um and then it's got a little scratched up here and there but quite honestly it doesn't like bother me that much so it's never really been an issue but they have updated the band on amazon so you can't get like this exact one anymore but you can get one that's similar to it and i do have that linked on my amazon storefront i love that this band still fits every new watch that i've gotten i think i put this on backwards i did i don't know but i like i think i put the watch band itself on backwards for me like i think i like it the other way but it looks nice i like that okay i'm gonna finish setting this up i didn't realize the new apple watch um i mean i'm sure they changed it with the six <laughs> is a different <laughs> port to charge it so i had to use my laptop um i'm gonna have to find a new uh why can i not even think of the word i need a different piece to charge it because right now i have the regular usb um in my bathroom for my old apple watch so in the meantime um <laughs> i had to charge it on my laptop um but i did hear that the battery life on this one is a lot better it also charges a lot faster uh so you like i think after like eight minutes of charging or something like crazy like that it's already up to like 75 percent for the battery i just know the battery is a lot better um it's also like full screen i need to reset i think my home screen uh because it took away the little motivation quotes but i don't even know if that's like a thing anymore so i'm gonna have to customize my Apple Watch a little. I feel like that might, I might do that in a whole different video. I'm not sure. Well, I have my laptop here and I'm going to Google just like comparison quickly between the five and the seven, just in case anyone else hasn't looked it up like I didn't and see the exact differences. Or we can just go to the Apple store and compare models. They don't have the five to compare it to though. I'm guessing the five is like similar to the series three or maybe they did that to the series the SE watch. I don't know. I have the 41 millimeter. I think the other option I used to have was like the 38 or the 40 millimeter always on display. I had that with my last one. They're all swim proof. The blood oxygen app, the ECG app are the two new ones for the series seven. You have international emergency calling, emergency SOS, 
uh, oh, this has fall detection, a compass. Um, I never get the cellular with mine, so that wasn't something that I like really cared about. Battery life is up to 18 hours, which is really cool. Faster charge, up to 33% faster charging. I think I was watching my Justine's video on the new Apple Watch Series 7. That's when I was like, oh, okay. I kinda was like a little more interested in it after I like watched her breakdown. The display never sleeps. You can always see the time and information. The viewing area stretches deep into the rounded corners and is nearly 20% larger than the SE display and over 50% larger than the Apple Watch Series 3 display. And it's up to 70% brighter indoors when your wrist is down. That's actually kind of cool. So yeah, I guess you can kind of see the difference. I think my Series 5 was even very similar to like this rounded or this more of like square whereas like the new watches are completely edge to edge for the screen which is really cool. It does feel a lot bigger even though it's the exact same face size as the other watch. It says this one is the most crack resistant from Crystal yet. Okay. The blood oxygen and the ECG app seem to be like the biggest or like the newest features for the Series 7. You get fall detection and noise monitoring. I think the noise monitoring was also on my Series 5, so that one isn't new. I don't know about fall detection. I never really paid attention to that, but they have that on the SE model too. Those are like the main ones that they're pointing out on the website. So I guess if you have an older Apple Watch and it's something that you're like ready to spend money on and you want to upgrade, I would definitely suggest doing it during heart month which is february that's when i always decide to upgrade my watch if i feel like i like am really wanting the newer or like latest model so just a little tip for you if you want to like save a little bit more money and get more back for your watch so i think i basically got almost all of my money back that i spent on my series 5 because i want to say it was i only spent like 130 to maybe 200 because i did the same situation where i had a trade-in and gift cards and stuff and it brought my total down so in the end they gave me 170 dollars back for my series 5 which i don't know like what they regularly give or like how much of an increase it was for each watch just specifically for this month but i always think it is a little bit worth it because i find i always get a little bit more money back in the end okay i'm guessing that the motivation app is the one app that is no longer on here since i used to have the quote right here i will link my older what's on my apple watch uh video that i did for you guys and like how i customized it and everything um because that i don't even remember how i did half of that stuff because i feel like i did that so long ago that was like back in 2020 during like quarantine time um so i will link that video if you guys want to check that one out and like customize your apple watch and do all of that fun stuff um and then maybe eventually once i like get this all sorted out i will do how i customized it what's on my apple watch and all that fun stuff let me know if there's like any other things that you guys want to see debating ending the vlog here for you guys and starting a new one later in case we like go to the gym i might just do like a little night in my life since it's already 145 might take a little bit of break from i literally sat and filmed probably like 15 to 20 tiktoks I was waiting for my new watch to like update and get set up so now i have a bunch of content like batch filmed for tiktok which is nice so i can like continue to post for the next few days so make sure you guys follow me over there and on instagram i just posted a get ready with me that was the one that i've been like meaning to post on tiktok for a few days now because i filmed that last week so i finally got the chance to upload that onto tiktok so if you guys want to see a little updated makeup routine get ready with me go follow me on tiktok because it's over there on that platform all right I think that's gonna be it. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's little sporadic vlog or random vlog of going to get a new Apple Watch. Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video.